Hello. Hello there. Uh, Luca, yeah. please tell us and the viewers yeah. the purpose of you here. That is explaining the stuff that you are actually doing right now. Okay, this is basically it's a Bronze Age bus stop. All right. Can you see? Yeah. Yes. People used to wait in the center, and the bus was coming in this direction. It was the number 22. Right. It was Kilkenny Carlo. And <coughs> we are actually looking for some bus tickets that usually were uh, inscribed in a stone or something else. We found actually the driver um, in a urn. Ah. He was cremated because he was driving too badly and actually the archaeologists they are thinking that they were he was loaded by the uh, by the bus passengers okay and what i'm doing i'm cleaning mm -hmm. this part of the the, the ditch uh, and um, very beautiful as we see yeah and you can see there there's a, a bronze age bottle and <coughs> let me zoom it up yeah fantastic bronze age bottle yes yeah. and the purpose of this one is unknown to me, so okay. because I'm, I'm. I'd say it's probably ritual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But the purpose of me cleaning this thing is unknown. <laughs> so <coughs> basically, I'm here for the money. Oh, okay. So I will do whatever uh, they they ask me to do, mm -hmm. except sexual uh, performance. All right. So that's it. Basically. Mm -hmm. uh, can we ask? for a small presentation about of your cleaning the ditch of yeah. you cleaning okay. the ditch so you can see what beautiful job we are doing and how hard yes. it is exactly that's the sole First purpose of, all, of it we have to go in the ditch all right that's going into the ditch the first step the second really. step is to get these two that cost oh. a fortune can we zoom into it can you show us the tool what is that? This is um, um, this is a sh uh, hand shovel, but right. it's a very particular, very precious. It's very this pretty. This is the ditch pocket. Oh, ditch pocket. You can see here. This is the stuff we, uh, which we are dealing. With. And mm -hmm. this is the thing for what we studied basically uh, 13 years mm -hmm. plus five. Oh yes. Yeah. In uh, primary, secondary school, uh, college, and then university and degree and whatever, to do this. <gasps> Which seems easy, but it's not. That's <laughs> right. Uh, can so, you dis demonstrate uh, some other tools that are in use? Yeah, of course. Yes. This is this is the latest technology that we received just a couple of days ago. Yes. It's called the ditch hole. <gasps> ditch hole. All right. And for this, I had to study two years more. Mm. It's uh, amazing. I know. I know. I know that you would have been impressed. Mm -hmm. Just to do this. Three. And is that that material of any use then? Uh, this material. The material you're gathering. Yeah, we usually <laughs> eat this thing uh, on lunch time, and because uh, we have to save money as you, and it's delicious actually, and with a tiny bit of salt and pepper, it's completely. Can you demonstrate you eating it? No, at lunch then. And there's a, a, a friend of mine that's very fond about this, called Tomic. He huh? eats <laughs> tons of this thing <laughs> every lunch then. So he will do it for you. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Get on, what's the, the next tool? The next tool is a <laughs> ditch shovel. Okay. And for this, I am actually the only one properly trained really? inside to do this job. So uh, that's kind of an honor for you, yes? Yeah?
And what is the strange contraption you have here? Um, this it looks is, amazing. Uh, you have to, to have a special driving license for this thing. Yes. Which I have, obviously. Uh -huh. And this is a uh, wheelbar. <gasps> wheelbar. Yeah. That's amazing. So what does it do? Well, you can sleep on it uh, mm. during the, your break. Yeah. Uh, you can sit on it, or you can fill the thing with whatever you want. Oh my God. That's so many uses. Yeah. In one wheelbarrow? Yeah. I actually have one at home in my bedroom. It's fantastic. <laughs> so, so how does it work? Right now I would like to work, otherwise we, they will fire me. All right. And okay. If they fire me, I have to go back to my previous job, which I don't like. Okay. So, uh, but it's very oh. dangerous, mm. so I don't want to prefer this one. Okay. That was Luca from Lyrath, 2007 Ireland. Luca, please say something to our viewers from Poland. Um, uh, Dzień dobry. Very good. Thank you very much. No problem. The end.